The reason why I started the Joshua Rose Foundation is um, during my childhood, I was kept from my father for 10 years from the age of 9 to 19 by my biological mother. Um, she used hostile aggressive parenting tactics which led to parental alienation. She continually badmouthed him, um, made us very fearful of him. She would say that things that were completely untrue. She made comments about how he was an abusive monster and how he didn't really care for us because he had gone on to marry another woman who had kids and they were his priority now and that he no longer mattered and of course brought up the child support issue and she did anything she could to denigrate the relationship between my father and I. I had to learn through the years to um, overlook a lot of what she has done and just move forward and realize that for some reason she's angry and bitter at the world and nothing I do or say is going to change that. Because he was also a child of divorce and he was kept from his mother, we had made a pact that you know, if we ever saw us becoming basically our parents and becoming bit bitter in the situation, we would do what we could to end the marital relationship and work on getting back to being friends because we felt that that was very important and do anything and everything we could to not put our children in the middle of a custody battle. Hindsight being 2020, that is how my mother ended up with our children. She approached us and approached the court. She knew of that commitment that we had made and said, well, you know, just give me temporary custody and guardianship, and while you guys work out your issues, then, you know, I'll take care of them, make sure you both are able to maintain your relationships. Well, what was only supposed to be six months was eight years as of August 2011. He took, uh, we had given, I had given what was called a caregiver's affidavit, which is basically just a statement stating that you're authorizing this person to take care of your children. She had taken that to the courts and sought out temporary guardianship. And, you know, we had consented to that because it was un with the understanding that she was going to give the children back like she had promised us, she had promised the courts, and she had told our children that. Well, because of the Sailors and Soldiers Civil Relief Act, it protects, you know, it's created to protect the military member that there can be no changes to custody or visitation while they're deployed. We ordered telephonic visitation twice a week, and I get 15 minutes per phone call, so it's a total of 30 minutes a week which divides up to seven minutes per phone call per child. And then I'm guaranteed one two-week visit per year in the summer. Other than that, the rest of the time is, as she deems, is fair and reasonable. My dad has not yet physically met my son because when, um, when I last saw him prior to the Christmas of 2008, where we spent our first holidays together in 32 years, um, the last time I had seen him prior to that, I was pregnant with my son. I am remarried now. I'm helping raise um, my husband's, well, one of them is out of the home, but I'm raising you know, his, his three children from his previous. But we spent two years in Hawaii, and you know, a lot of people will joke, they remember the term ohana, you know, means family, family means nobody let, gets left behind or forgotten. But we spent two years over there, and we saw it firsthand. Joshua Rose Foundation was founded on my son's birthday. Um, we just celebrated five years in October. Um, it was founded October 17th, founded while I was in Hawaii in October 2006. Um, I had been in prayer. I knew I needed to do something with my situation. I knew I needed to do something about, you know, sharing what I'd been through to educate others who were going through family court that, you know, they can make different and better choices so that their children weren't going to be devastated in the process. Um, and I was in prayer, and I actually received the acronym, which is Jesus Organized Spiritual Helpers Understanding All, Rejoicing on Spiritual Excellence. Well, I didn't really realize that it had spelled out my son's first name and my daughter's middle name until I was sharing, you know, the acronym with a friend of mine. So, excuse me. That's a hard question. Um, I think it would probably be easier to say yes automatically if she was not repeating the pattern of my childhood now with my own children. Um, I am literally at times reliving my childhood by virtue of the fact that there have been times my own children have told me the exact same things word for word that I remember being conditioned and trained to say to my father. 